Did you know that the S&P 500 has correctly predicted the outcome of every presidential election since 1984? And it's correctly predicted the outcome of 16 out of 19 since 1944. The prediction is based on the S&P's price return in the three months leading up to the selection. If there's a positive price return over this three month period, the incumbent will win. In fact, in this article in November of 2020, they correctly predicted that Joe Biden would win. As you can see in this article in Forbes, it even predicted that Trump would win four years prior. This is the S&P 500 year to date. And even though it's only January, it actually has hit an all time record high. Here is a chart of the last five years. If you see this spot right here, that's the three months leading up to the last selection. If the market continues to perform at this pace for the rest of the year, it could mean trouble for Donnie. Now, Donnie has been suggesting that the only reason the stock market is doing well is because of his performance in the polls, which is highly likely to be not true. The real reason or highly probable reason that the S&P has reached record highs is because the Federal Reserve has been suggesting that the interest rate increases are over. Obviously, there are plenty of predictions and estimates that happen in financial markets and decisions made by the Federal Reserve Bank on interest rates almost always move the market. So in the event that the Fed cuts interest rates or stops raising them as they've suggested, will the S&P grow and will this prediction be right again?